everybody, Mark Gallen here with Skyhunt 306, of course, and special guest, Monkey the Quaker Parrot. Today we'll be talking about how to care for your Quaker Parrot. Hope you enjoy! Hello everybody, it's Skyhunt 306 here, and today we'll be talking about food and water. Water's pretty simple, nah, just the normal stuff. And also don't forget to give your parrot every two to three days some vitamins in their water to make sure they're very healthy. Some fruits and vegetables your parrot would like. Safe fruits are apples, blackberries, cranberries, gooseberries, honeydew, mangoes, papaw, pineapple, raspberries, apricots, blueberries, dates, Grapes, kiwis, nectarines, peaches, plums, strawberries, watermelons, bananas, cherries, figs, guava, lychee, oranges, pears, pomegranate and tangerines. Safe vegetables are artichoke, broccoli, cauliflower, corn, endive, lettuce, peppers, bell slash hot, pumpkin seeds, sweet potato cooked, beans cooked well, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cucumber, fennel, parsley, Potatoes cooked, radish, turnip, zucchini, beans, sprouts, carrots, celery, eggplant, no greens, green beans, peas and pod, pumpkin, spinach and yams. So yes, don't forget the water and the pellets we showed you at the start. For the toxic foods. So the toxic foods for your parrot include apple seeds, avocado, definitely not avocado, even using the same breadboard is bad, carbonated beverages, dry beans, Gatorade, onions raw, cooked green, apricot pits, butter, cherry pits, dried fruits with preservatives, milk dairy keep to a minimum, raw peanuts, tomatoes, minimum no seeds, asparagus, caffeine, Chocolate, eggplant, olives, and rhubarb. Make sure you're not in the Just remember those and don't get your parrot sick. The cage size for your parrot should be at least the size of our cage. The cage should have no cracks and should be at least this size. And also, don't forget to take your bird out. This is just a place that they should go for night time. It's very cruel to keep your parrot in the cage for the whole day. They will get sad and maybe even die. So don't forget to, to get a large cage like this, no holes, and if, you, if the door is like ours, you have to put a peg on it to make sure your, your parrot does not get out. That would be a terrible thing. So don't forget to peg it. Your parrot should have at least five toys, even more. And also, make sure they're fun, like picking paper out of a little ball and hiding treats. Make sure they're all also natural. You don't want to kill your bird. And if they aren't natural, make sure you're supervising them because unnatural rope can get into their stomach and kill them. Hello, it's Sky 306 here, and today I'll be telling you about handling with Mark Gallen. Whenever you want him to get onto your hand, make sure you say, get up. And if he doesn't want to, well, then, don't, you don't have, he doesn't have to. Make sure you listen to his body language, or you could lose your trust bond. And that's not a good thing. And say, step up, step up, good bird. And if he doesn't listen, or bites you, don't, don't react. This will cause it them to think it's a game. Just push their head away and say, uh-uh, and put them back in their cage until they're ready to come out. And remember, never let one on top of your head. They'll think that they're the boss and then start biting and scratching. That is not a very good thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this exciting Chips Channel episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!